Well, that was pretty unexpected. Hey guys, it's me Joshua aka Future Film 3940 here once again, and I'm here to talk about Superman the movie. I've already talked about this movie, but this time I'm talking about the never before seen three hour international no three hour restored international extended cut that people's been talking about. Now this is, of course, directed by Richard Donner, starring Christopher Reeve, Gene Hackman, Margot Kidder, Marlon Brando, Phyllis Daxter, Ned Beatty, Terrence Stamp. And this is based on the character of the same name. Now, I don't have to go into the plot, but I just want to for the heck of this review and be professional. Just before the destruction of planet Krypton, scientist Jor-El sends his infant baby, Kal-El, on a spaceship to Earth. And basically, you know the story, raised by farmers Jonathan and Martha Kent, young Clark Kent discovers the, his, the source of superhuman powers, moves to Metropolis to fight evil, and he becomes Superman. And when he becomes Superman, he decides... To battle the villainous Lex Luthor, while as novice reporter Clark Kent, he attempts to woo co worker Lois Lane. Now, how I have talked about the original theatrical cut back in 2016, but allow me to tell you guys what this cut has to offer. So, Decades before blockbuster extended cuts were common, Superman proved a true man of tomorrow. Superman the movie received a head of his time makeover for his television premiere way back in the 80s. Nearly 40 minutes of more story, it created a two-night television event. Audiences were already swept away off their feet by Christopher Reeve's last son of Krypton, and now there is more to the story. Unseen in decades, this version is paired here with Richard Donner's definitive version, the special edition director's cut, to create a supersized celebration of Metropolis' favorite son that preserves the director's intent while feeding the superfan demands. Now, Richard Donner has criticized this version. He hates this three-hour version. He hates it. He thinks it didn't need to happen, it's too long, and... And I was n not the biggest fan of this news being out because I'm like a three hour super three hour international version of Superman 1978. What's the point? But then I just Sean Veritas 591 decide I should give it a chance and I gave it a chance that it deserved and I have to admit it was great. The 40, extra 40 minutes of this movie is more story. Now, now we do the TV version. Warner Brothers, they surprisingly, now the compare, I can't say all the comparisons. I want to make it clear. So, we have, there are scenes, there are longer action sequences here. The action sequences are more longer, especially the Krypton one. There are more shots of houses and bridges being destroyed. Hollywood sign gives in more special effects and stuff. Um, there's there's more story here for this movie. There's more. The musical score is now much more longer. Now you get to hear stuff that is not that is not. Um, in the original version. There was more scenes of story, more scenes of character of them, especially with Superman and um and um and all the other characters. Now now equal to the director's cut, you do have you do have an alternate opening, the previous shot 
is a in the original version the previous shot is a little longer but in this version it's 10.8 seconds longer the open original opening there's a lot more you get to spend a lot more time on krypton you get to spend you get to see more of superman chris reeve is clark kent more you get basically a lot more scenes added in that you didn't see when the film was first released back in the 70s and I have to admit, I am. Um, I was. I I was vastly impressed. Three hours and eight minutes of awesomeness. You get longer action scenes. The effects still look good. And for an international TV version, it does look dated. Cause I I my. Friend Vera 2591, he sent this to me and it was a dated TV version, televised edition, but it has been released on Blu ray. So I'm not sure whether or not if I should release this to get this, but I have to be honest, I am, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Um, acting is still great from Chris Reeve, may you rest in peace, sir, Margot Kidder. Marlon Brando, Gene Hackman. Now, Lex Luthor, I still like the Lex Luthor character. But the problem, I guess one of the problems people have with him is that he, is that all he cares about is land. And I can say that's one of my problems with Superman Returns that I had that I didn't forgot to mention in my review of that movie. And that's the part, Gene Hackman. And I do give Snyder a lot of credit for being different with Jesse Eisenberg, Superman. But at the same time, he should Jesse Eisenberg's character sh version should have been more serious. But I have to give a huge, huge tap on, pat on the back to huge tap on the back. And this is one, this mainstream the popularity of Hollywood superhero film franchises. Like I said, and last year this was inducted into the Library of Congress's National Film Registry for good reason. I think that was really good. I think that's really incredible. And like I said, the TV broadcast is, there's 182 minutes, all of that is all of the footage that you see is amazing. But I prefer, I still prefer the two hour and 23 minute version. The re class, the original version of the movie, which is 143 minutes. I prefer that version more over this. But I will, I would definitely consider buying this on Blu-ray. I do plan to put this in the Superman collection, but the only problem is how am I going to do this with getting the Superman the movie with the special edition and the three hour version and then the Richard Donner cut and the Superman Returns and then the original Superman the triple feature. I don't know how it's going to work because I already have Superman Returns, but anyway, I, I'm still impressed with this three hour cut that is really good so i'll give superman the movie the restored international cut i won't give this a silver approval but i will give this an epitastic because there are a couple of changes that i'm not too pleased there are there's two major changes in this extended edition that I'm not too happy, too keen with, involving two scenes. So, that was my little review thoughts on Superman, the international cut. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. Do you like it? Did you not like it? I will see you guys later. And this is Future from 3940 signing out. And you guys, keep it cool. I'll see you in the next video.